How are we doing guys? I just finished Manchester City 2, Arsenal 2. <laughs> not, not, not the result I, I wanted, but yeah, it, yeah it, so it is what it is. I'm going to move on. You guys know, in what was a very hard fought game, you know, both teams were in it. Man City 2, Arsenal 2. We had that. We had that, bro. We fucking had it. Capitulated at the end again, it's not. Oh my god, where are you to start? Absolutely bollocks. I just couldn't believe it when Johnson scored. Explain to me here. Explain to me in a real football fan's perspective how you can play 97 minutes and go over the 97 minutes. Do you know what I'm saying? It was 97 plus, about three. It was the 98th minute and Johnston scored. That feels like defeat. That feels like a defeat, man. We had that. Again, it's fucking shit refereeing decisions that cost us. Cost us in big fucking chances again. How many more times am I gonna sit here and go on and on and on about these referees? And bin them. Bin them all tonight. Been them all tonight. Looking back in the game, he sends it. He sends off Leandro Trossard. Now, I'm, at first thought, I thought, right, Trossard was a city boy. He deserved to be, to be sent off for the non-jump and under silver. But it was because he kicked the ball away. Right? What really pissed me off about it is 10 minutes before, Jeremy fucking Doku done the same thing. Not even a yellow. Not even a fucking yellow card. And you've got the cheek to send Trossard off for that. Behave all you, you fucking... This is a shit that happened three weeks ago. When Declan Rice got sent off against Brighton. The littlest touch, the Veltman come and fucking kicking him. I've had enough of this now. I've, I've had a fucking enough of this. I swear down I have had enough of these referees. Oh, I'm gonna fucking break something in a minute. I've had enough of these. Michael Oliver is a fucking cheat. I've had enough. I've had an actual, I've actually had enough. What has football come to? Seriously, man, what the fuck has football come to? It went from the beautiful game to the nightmare again. The fuck is this? Why the fuck do referees have to be so incompetent? So, so incompetent. I was watching the championship the other day, the Middlesbrough Sunderland match. The referees in that are more fucking better than the ones in the Premier League, the bastards. I actually had enough of this shit, man. Seriously, man. Seriously, no matter what referee you, you get in this day and age, yeah? Whether it's Craig Paulson, you guys are there, Chris Kavanagh, Mike Oliver, they're all fucking, they're all as bad as each other. They're all as bad as each fucking each other. And I've had enough of it now. I've, I've had a fucking enough of this shit now, man. Honest to God. I haven't been this pissed since fucking Newcastle away last season. I have not been this pissed since Newcastle away last season. When we went there, and we were fucking robbed there as well. What happened tonight was a fucking joke. We go 2-1 up, yeah, in the first half. We came out in that second half, we were brilliant. We were absolutely brilliant. We, we were sitting back, letting City attack us and everything. City attack us and everything, let them come on to us. 
the referee does puts up the board seven additional minutes. So I'm thinking, right, well, let's hold this for seven more minutes, which we, we, we which we did do, by the way. We held it for seven minutes. 97, 31, I think, John Stone scores. That is technically the 98th minute John Stone scored. Sorry, but no. That is... No. That is just absolutely fucking shambolic. How can you say 97 minutes if you're playing 98? Like, if you said play 98 minutes, fair enough, I can understand. But no, he said 97. It was in the 98th minute that John Stones fucking scored. And this is the shit that really pisses me off as well. He says, there's, there's going to be fans there that sit there. Arsenal fans in particular. I'm not, I'm not just talking about rival fans. I'm talking about our fans in particular as well, right? Who, who, who are going to sit there and are going to blame the players. No. I thought we played really well today. I thought that was, that was one of our best performances of the of the season, if not our best. We were a bit slow in the midfield, but we got there. We got there eventually. Once the second half came, we we, we dropped back and we were all good again. But we knew what we had to do. We went there to win. We almost did it. I'm not blaming the players for this. It's that fucking wanker of a ref, Michael Oliver. Oh, you fucking cheat. Hate that guy so much. I think he was actually the the referee of the, of the Newcastle match as well that I was just on about. Like, the last season, 1 0. I never want to see that guy refereeing an, an, an Arsenal game ever fucking again. Never again. Because look at what the hassle it causes. Absolute fucking controversy. And I've had enough of it now. I have had enough of him. He needs to fuck off and he needs to just go and get a better fucking job. Because otherwise I'll knock him out myself and my bare hands are going, I'm going to fucking punch him off the bastard. But I mean, yeah, yeah listen, um, we played really well, you know. Um, disappointing not, not to get the win because of fucking wanking referees, but... Yeah, listen, um, at, the, at the end of the day, it it can be classed as a good point. You know, taking points off of, off of the best team in the world at the moment, arguably. The best team in the Premier League by far. Taking points off, off of them, knowing that we have two decent home games coming up. Leicester City and Southampton. City have an away game as well, so it's... There, there, there could still be questions to ask as well, you know, you know what I'm saying, and... I feel the title race this season is going to be very, very interesting. Liverpool look like they're back to they're back to their best, you know. So, yeah, listen. Um, let's get into the player ratings. David Rea, I thought, had had a lot to do tonight. What he did, he did do well. Um, saved us at moments again. And I was saying to myself earlier while, while watching the game. To think that our goalkeeper has been our best player all season is very, very concerning. Very concerning. Saved us against Atlanta. Saved us against Villa. Saved us tonight. Just tonight. I can't give David Rea more than a seven. Actually, no, I'm going to give David Rea an eight. I feel, I feel like he deserves an eight. I feel what he did. He did do well. He commanded himself well. and There was a video of him actually at full time of him walking in a bandage. I hope that's nothing serious. Who the fuck are we going to play and go in the League Cup game now on, on fucking Wednesday night? We can't be playing David Rea in that Neto's Cup tied, so I feel like it's going to probably have to be Tommy, Tommy set for in that game, but we'll speak about that game on Tuesday when I do the preview for that and shit, but... Rea gets an eight. A left-back was Calafiori. The, that goal he scored. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. What a finish. What an introduction to, to the Premier League for him, man. Big up to Ricardo Calafiori, man. Um, great. Absolute fucking, absolute fucking belt of a finish. One of, the, one of the goals of the season. Already, so far, anyway. 
Absolute rocket of a finish. Absolute belter. Calafiori gets a nine. Gabriel. <laughs> Put us two and up before half time and I'm thinking, I'm screaming off the top of my head. I'm like, oh, at the back is Gabriel. I don't know that kind of song, yeah. But, it looked a bit sloppy at times, to be fair. But, I'm, I'm going to give Gabriel an eight. Saliba. Hmm. There were moments in there I looked at him and thought, shaky. But then there were moments in there I looked at him and thought, were fucking brilliant. Excellent. But it's just, it's just the way that he let Haaland run through him for the, for, for, for the first city goal, meaning I'm probably going to have to downgrade his rating by one. I was going to give him an eight, but I'm going to have to give him a seven. Um, right back was Dewey and Timber. Um... Ben White not Ben White not starting could be a huge in indication that because Timber did have a have a good game over on the right hand side today and Calafiori had a great game on a left back even scoring so you know what I'm saying it's like Ben White could have a bit of competition as well you know there's still Tommy Asu to come back as well from a knee injury so it's there's no first choice spots for knee on you anymore because it's, it's going to be a lot of rotation but yeah Yuri and Timber. Done what he had, done what he had, he had to do, had to deal with the likes of uh, Savino. Um, dealt with him well, they dealt with him well at times. But Savino is a quality player. I said it in the preview, and you could see it today. Just the footwork, the movement Savino was using against him was explicit. It was just there and everything. So Timber's gonna get an eight for me. Uh, midfield was Thomas Party. I thought there were moments in there which were really good. And there were moments that really, that made him look really shaky. Um, especially for the second goal for City as well. What What is he doing? What is he doing? Because it's like, to see when Stones goes to hit it, it kind of bounces off of Raya and then it goes into the roof of the net. Thomas Party's foot was stuck out. It's like, what, what are you doing just sticking the foot out? Do you know what I mean? I have, re I have reason to believe that that hit off Thomas Party. I don't know why. I just do. Well, I'm going to give Thomas Partey a seven. Declan Rice will get a seven as well. I don't think this. I don't think he really had much to do, to be honest. Um, don't what he had, don't what he, he had to do well. Um, that Rice will get a seven. Uh, Saka on the right because he went off at half time. I'm going to have to give him a six. Didn't really do anything. Didn't really make anyone go wow, Saka. Nah, uh, Trossard was through the middle, got sent off before half time. Stupid, stupid decision again. But yeah, it is what it is. Trossard will get a five. Martinelli on the left, I thought was our best player tonight. Martinelli was our best player tonight. I'm gonna give Martinelli a nine. I thought he was our best player tonight by a mile. Tearing Carl Walker to pieces. The only one out there that looked like they were trying in the attacking phase anyway. Martinelli gets a nine. Kai Havertz was ghosted, man. Kai Havertz was the fuck's is gone now, man. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to give Kai Havertz a six. He was just ghosted, man. It's like, just shit, man. It's just not good enough at, 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 at all for my number nine, but. Yeah, the subs. Gabriel Jesus. Didn't really have time, time to make much of an impact. I'm gonna give him a five. Ben White was on for the whole second half. He he looked good, looked, looked a bit shaky. I'll give him a seven. Who else come on? Jakob Kivior came on. Only for a bit, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him a five. Uh, Miles Lewis Skelly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to give him a five as well. So yeah, listen. Um, I wouldn't pass it two points drop. Still ages to go in it. Still ages to go in the season yet. We can still win the title, but Michael Oliver's a fucking cheat. But yeah, listen, if you're new around here, make sure you hit the like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you lot soon. I'm out of here.